Thank you very much, James um, and Mark, sorry. <laughs> um, from Germany now all the way to Greece, uh, Ms. Ioanna Fotopoulou will approach the concept of rejection as a form of redirection. Ioanna is the co-founder of Simple Rocks. She is a strategist and consultant on branding, marketing and sales. Her degree is on engineering through which she got all her project management skills. She started a non-profit in the age of 21 and a social enterprise in, enterprise in the age of 23. She has been very active in the Greek civil society and for her, her initiatives she has been awarded by many international organizations like One Young World, Clinton Global Initiative and Impact Hub among others. She has been president of Rotaract Anatolia, president of the student engineer department and currently is a member of Global Shapers of the World Economic Forum. Ms. Fadopoulou, the floor is yours. Okay, guys. Uh, you listen to me. I don't need a microphone, right? Yes? Yes. 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 Just Dimitri. <laughs> Sorry, friends. Okay. So... <laughs> I don't know how many of you have been to such events before, but I have been to many such events in my life. I have been to many... I, I don't think you... Yeah, okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> I really, I, I'm very talkative. Yeah, I'm Greek, so I'm uh, expressive. Uh, by the way, if this is going to be G-rated, I care a lot, so you have to pay attention. Okay, so I have been to many places like that and it was very nice for like a, a moment or two and when I was getting out this fucking door, I didn't remember a thing. I was like, okay, this dude did this and this lady did that and that other chick did that and okay, how, how is this helping me? So I came up uh, while I was in San Francisco like six months ago with this notion, have you ever heard about Ibnu? No. Very good. Well, nobody knows it. It's in my head, so you know, it's obvious that you haven't heard it before. So Ibnu, interesting, but not useful. So what I'm going to talk about and what I'm going to give you is not something that I have done. Because let's be honest, me, it's me. And you are you. So whatever worked for me doesn't mean that will work for you as well. This is bullshit. And whatever tells you that Bullshit, big time. I'm telling you, whatever works for you, works for you and just for you. Every person has a very different path. So this is why you have some post-its and some pens. Are you ready to do an exercise with me? Yes. Okay, let's paint. You will have 12 seconds. I need you to be very focused and stay with me, okay? We're going to do four different drawings in just 12 seconds. Are you ready? Do you have the post-it and the pen? You have to work with me because I have 10 minutes and Hara is going to kick me out of the stage. Okay, are we ready? Yes. Okay, so I want you to draw in three seconds a flower. One, two, three. I want you to draw a different flower. One, two, three. I want you to draw a house. One, two, three. Three, I want you to draw a different house. One, two, three. And I want to ask you now. Does the first flower look like this one? Hans? Yes. Oh, look at that. Maybe the second flower is a tulip. <laughs> Amazing. Nobody could see it happen. And the first house look like that. Yeah. Hans, Hans, I want to see Hans. Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> Please tell me. Why? I have done this exercise with people from Siberia. 
fucking Siberia, they, be, they draw a uh, daisy. I'm like, guys, really? Siberia, daisy, what, what, what? Okay, what I need you to do now, because I'm going to give you some tips, okay? I'm going to share with you during the seven minutes I have left, three secrets that have helped me. And I, I don't l l tell you to believe it, okay? I tell you to test it, to try it, if it's working for you, okay? But for doing that, I want you to understand that you are here in this little box and when somebody asks you to paint, you paint a flower, you paint a daisy and do the fucking step and go out here, okay? So I want you to open your mind and just let me be in your mind for seven minutes. I don't want anything else from you. Why? I want to see hands. Who wants to be a millionaire? I have many ways to tell you how to become a millionaire in a month. I will share with you two now. Who wants to be a millionaire? I will. Okay. For all of you that want to be a millionaire, uh, you can be a millionaire in a month if you sell drugs. Uh, if you sell weapons. If you sell your body and other people's bodies. I didn't tell you that you will be a millionaire in ways that will not put you in jail in uh, two months from now, eh? Okay? But there are many ways to be a billionaire, a millionaire and a billionaire. The point is, how do you want to sleep at night? And what do you want to do with your life? And how to change this world? And if you actually want to leave this world a better place than you fucking found it. You are actually a, a step further than your parents. So what we are here for is actually to create a better future for us and the next generations that are going to come. So here are the three ways that you actually can make money without going to jail. Well, you can not go to jail with the other things, but you need to be very, you know, very connected. So inherit them. Okay, I will tell you something. Where there is a will, there is a relative. You take it from here, you do whatever you need with that, okay? Change your time. Many people, including me, at some point in my life, I said, okay, I'm going to work for someone, I'm going to give this someone eight hours of my life, and I'm going to fucking get paid for that. Okay? This was not working for me. Why? Because I, I have the need to create my money. I have the need to fail, I have the need to learn, I have the need to actually get down in my knees every day and get up every night. I, I have the, really the need to be in a fucking roller coaster every fucking day of my life. To feel happy and then feel sad and then feel happy and I told you I guess a lot. You know, it's, it's the pauk in me. I, I grew up in Thessaloniki. So, three secrets. You were born winners. Do you want me to tell you a story? Mr. Stelios, thank you. These are helping a lot. Okay, so, guys. What are these? <laughs> Six. 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 <laughs> I like the way you think. Gratitude. No, it's not gratitude, <laughs> Philip. Pleasure, yeah, you gratitude. Yes. <laughs> Some years ago, okay, when this happened and you were born, you did two things. The first thing that you did was that you actually won the hardest race of humanity. <laughs> You run the fastest from all the other 400 millions around you. You came first. You, you reached the target. You saw it and you went for it. Spring. But this was not only that. New ideas in <coughs> genetics, do you know what they show? That it was not only you that reached there. From the 400 million, I don't know the exact number, I'm not a biologist, around 1,000 reached the egg. From these 1,000, one is chosen by the egg. <laughs> so I ask you, why did you want to be here so badly? And what are you doing with this win? You don't need to prove nothing to anybody. You were born with a golden metal. So what are you doing with this thing? Are you, are you grateful? <coughs> Did you walk here to come and listen to all of us talking today? Because some people cannot use their legs. Can you see me? Because some people cannot see me.
Can you hear me? Some people cannot hear me. Are you grateful enough for what you have today? Even if this is two fucking legs that you can fucking do this. So what I did during my failures, and they were a lot, okay, I have a notebook, a small notebook. And before I go to sleep, every night, I write a sentence. I do not go to sleep, even when I go out and I'm hungover, I do not go to sleep before I write one thing I'm grateful for that happened during the day. Guess what? In 30 days, you have 30 things that you're grateful for. In 60 days, 60. A year, 365. You just, I, I, don't, I don't know if it will help you. But I only ask you to try it and test it, okay? And we will be in touch, you will see in the end. Choose. Guys, if you hang out with 11 people that have alcohol problems, it's very logical that you're going to become the next one to have alcohol problems. It's scientifically proven, it's not Joanna saying it, eh? If you hang out with fucking 11 millionaires, you're going to be the 12th. Choose your peer group. Period. I don't have anything else. It's a, it's a huge secret. Choose your peer group. Choose the people you hang out with every day. And leave society alone. Society looks like that. I don't know about Cyprus, but Greece, big time. And this thing was the hardest thing for me to finish the engineering department. You can change society, and you can do it, but you cannot let society come to you. You have to go to society. Because why? Nothing is absolute. When I was growing up in a village in northern Greece, everybody was telling me, Oh, you're a little girl. You should become a teacher. <laughs> no. You should become an engineer. Oh, you're a little girl. You should go and uh, do ballet. No. I'm not. I'm, I'm not supposed to do ballet. Believe me. I used to play professionally football for four years. Said therefore. That's how aggressive I am in my life. Ballet is not for me. Let's be honest. Nothing is absolute. No, no one can tell you or should tell you or you should even listen if somebody will try to tell you what to do with your life. The life is yours. So you are, and I really believe that, the next generation of entrepreneurs. Why? Because it's Thursday evening and instead of going out for coffee or staying in your house because it's fucking raining outside, we almost drown on our way here, you're here today. You're here right now and you didn't leave and you will stay until the end in order to talk to us and connect with us and connect with all the other people that are here in this room. So when I hear economic crisis, I call bullshit. Do you want me to tell you why? Hara, I'm finishing, I promise, okay? <laughs> Let me share a story with you, but I want you to go there, okay? I want you to stay with me for another minute. That's all I ask from your time, from your life. To stay with me another minute, okay? It's Saturday night. And you drank uh, eight whiskeys. Uh, not you, somebody that you know. And you take the car. Again, not you, maybe you don't do that. Okay? And you drive. And you're drunk. Okay? And at some point, while you are very close to your house, you see from behind, in the mirror, a blue light that is approaching you. How do you feel? Come on, how do you feel? Stressed. Scared. 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 What is happening in your biology? Tell me. Sweat. Sweat. Heartbeat. 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 Uh, yes. Tell me more. Babbling. Yes. Okay. And then you are there, okay? Please, 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 please be there. Please stay there, okay? And then at some point, this blue light that is so close to you overpasses you because he's chasing someone else in front of you. How do you feel? <laughs> and the heartbeat? <laughs> and the adrenaline? <laughs> and the tremble? <laughs> what happened, guys? <laughs> I'm, I'm asking you, okay? I'm asking you. Assumptions. Ah, but how, what's your name? Amir. Bravo, Amir. Okay. So, please tell me, was this blue light that entered your brain and told your brain to actually release adrenaline in your blood? No. no. It was you that did that. Was this blue light that uh, went into your uh, heart and said, okay, now it's your time to start... No. It was you that did that. It was your perception of reality. Nothing can touch you unless you let it touch you. 
Nothing that is happening around you can do anything for you or on you if you don't let it. It's like the tanker example, okay? You're driving a tanker, you're a captain. And you turn the, the wheel, like the, how do you say it? Yeah, okay. And you turn back. Did the tanker move? No. Did the tanker turn? No, hell no. Do you know how big much of a tanker is? It's the exact same thing with your life. You want to change something, you need to be patient. Wait for 20 minutes. You look back and the tanker is moving. Do you have faith? Do you know that you turned the wheel? How not the tiger not to move? Of course it will move. Just give it time. Everything in life needs time. This is what I did. Do you know how many times I failed? I have counted at some point. It's more than 300. I wanted to become a doctor because I was the best student. I failed. I entered the engineering department. I didn't like it. The first semester I wanted to quit. And then I wanted to go for Erasmus. Yes, I went to go for Erasmus. I applied the first time with two of my friends. My two friends got to Sevilla. I stayed in Thessaloniki. <laughs> and then the next year I decided to convince two other friends to apply with me for Valencia. They went, both of them. I stayed in Thessaloniki. <laughs> the third time I applied for Madrid. I stayed in Thessaloniki. The all was my friend went. So I said, okay, you know what, Spain? Fuck off. I'm going to go to Utrecht. And thank God I did. And thank God I failed. But I stayed there, I'm like, you know what, bitches? I'm gonna go to Erasmus. Whatever you tell me, I'm gonna go to Erasmus. And I went and there I met this amazing lady that she taught me project management and she told me that, you know what, because you're an engineer, you don't need to do engineering stuff. You can be a project management. You can do project management. And then she told me, why don't you apply for this free opportunity for New York to learn bigger project management? Guess what? I didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't get it. And I applied the next semester as well. I didn't get it. No, not, not, uh, not even a friend of mine got it because we wouldn't be friends. This was too much. Okay? But because of I failed, because of the fact that I failed for New York, I got the chance and I spent uh, almost a month in Berkeley University in California for free. Because I failed and I failed and because they had my email, they sent me this opportunity and they endorsed me to go there for free. And then I went there and I started fundraising for my first initiative when I was 21 and I fundraised 82,000 euros and I just flushed the toilet and it was all gone. We helped so little people while we could have helped so many people. Why? Because we ended up being 18 co-founders in the end. 18 co-founders is not a good thing. Whatever you start do, 18 co-founders is too much. Just get this from me, okay? 18 co-founders is too much. <laughs> and then I got this idea and transformed it into a business that uh, is doing CRM for municipalities, customer relationship management for municipalities. Yeah, it failed. But I have to tell you, before it failed, it got a scholarship. And me, in my 23, I had a selfie with Bill Clinton because they gave me some money to actually start my business. Okay, you don't need to like Bill Clinton, but still, I mean, you know, he was the president of the United States of America and I was 24, 24 to going to 25 years old. It was a fucking big deal. And let me tell you why it was a big deal. Because the rejection is the re redirection. And because I have nothing different from you. And with this, I leave you. I grew up in a village in North Greece. I went to public school. I went to public universities. I have two parents that are teachers, so we are not from a big, rich Greek family that could help me and fund me with every crazy idea that I had. I don't know if I made it, and to be honest, I haven't made it. But for whatever I have made, I'm exactly like you. The only difference that might be between you and me is that I don't think rejection is rejection, and I keep going for what I believe and for what I want. <coughs> and. I'm telling you, there are people out there that would like to help you. There were many people that had helped me and they didn't even know who I am. My surname is Fotopoulos, not Latis or Nyarkos or Clinton. Okay? Nobody fucking knows me, nobody fucking cares. Still, there were people that helped me without nothing in return, wanting nothing in return. So please go out and ask. Ask the, the, the good questions, the right questions, the questions that will lead you to your goal. Okay? 
And I am one person that is going to be here for you. I, and I'm not kidding. I'm going to get all the emails and me personally, not Andreas, not uh, Hara, not my secretary of the third company that I am right now. I'm going to write it personally to all of you. Because giving me 10, time, 10 minutes of your time is the best thing that everybody can do. Because time you don't get back. So I really hope I have helped somehow. And just remember, the key is we. I'm here for you. Big time. Seriously. I mean it. I'm here. Thank you.